What's up guys, Alec here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit your subtitles. So you might have some subtitles and you want to make a change to them. Well, to make a change to these subtitles, you need to have them in an SRT file format. This is a subrip subtitle file. When you have your subtitle file, so the SRT file, there's a few ways you can edit it. I'm gonna show you two different ways you can do this by going straight onto my laptop. Okay, so here on my laptop, as we can see, I have the subtitles for video.srt file. So this is my subtitle file. And if I want to make a change to it, I'm gonna show you the first way you can do it without using any tools is I can click on it. I can then rename it. So you might have to right click and then click on rename. But if I rename the extension and change it from .srt to .txt, I can then actually edit it in a text editor. So if I then open this file, I can here make changes to it. And as we can see, I'm gonna replace the very first word and I'm just gonna put way too many O's, okay? So now if I exit this file, it will have saved. And then I change this back to SRT. My subtitles have been saved. But what I'm going to show you now is a tool that I'm gonna use online. So the tool is vive.io. Once you have a project open, you can actually go over to the subtitles tab and then upload your own subtitle file. To have a project open, you do need to upload a video, but changes will be made soon that you'll be able to upload subtitles without even having to upload your video. But the video doesn't even matter. You want to focus on your subtitles and editing them. So we're gonna go over to the subtitle section and click on upload subtitle file. If we click on upload subtitle file, we are then gonna select my subtitles for video.srt, so my SRT file. Gonna click open, it will take a couple of seconds to upload, and as we can see here in the subtitle editor, they're already here. And the first thing you'll notice is that my edit that I made within the text editor is already saved to this computer. As you can see, I have way too many O's on the first word, so here. So now with V's subtitle editor, what I can do is easily correct that. I can then bounce between sections, make changes, as you can see, if I wanted to only have, let's say, two subtitle sections, rather than this being in three sections from different times, I can easily change these. I could, let's say, copy the show you, I'm gonna show, okay. So if I wanted to put how to quickly at the end of this one, and then make this one a little bit longer, say if I wanted this at, I'm just gonna put three, three seconds. There you go, so that ends at three seconds, and this one starts at three seconds. There we go, and that is how I would edit my subtitle file. I could then delete one, I could then add a completely new one. Um, I would say so if I wanted this to last nine seconds. There you go, and testing, testing, testing. Okay, and then once I've done that, I can go over to options at the top right here, and I can click on either download as a TXT or a .SRT, and I'm just gonna download it as a .SRT. Now if I go back to my downloads, Again, I'm just gonna show you once more that if I edit it with TXT, I'm gonna use TXT, I'm just gonna show you that Veed has correctly saved my SRT file. As you can see, there's the timestamps that I changed, three seconds, three seconds, and everything works correctly. And then once again, I can change it back to SRT, and there I have it. That is how I can edit subtitle files on my computer, either by using a text editor or either by using vive.io. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. If this video was helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button. And again, guys, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.